Okay, so I'm having to shoot this on my 50 millimeter lens because, well, I messed up my other lens, but that is okay because may I present to you the Sony A7C. Had it backwards. The Sony A7C. <laughs> recently you know that I've been desperately wanting to get a new camera and so thankfully by the goodness and graciousness of God we made it happen. One of the coolest features about this camera that I don't currently have on this Nikon that I'm shooting on is the fact that it has a full flip LCD screen. That is what they call a game changer. There's been so many times where I've been trying to shoot on the Nikon and I don't know if I'm in frame or if anything's in focus. I have to press record and then go stand in front of the camera wherever it may be like this, make sure that it is in focus and then come back and check the footage to make sure that everything was smooth. There's been so many times where I thought it was in focus and it actually wasn't in focus and then I go back to look at the footage and it's all useless. There's been so many headaches that I've had with things being out of focus because I couldn't check with a flip LCD screen to be able to see what was in focus. And that brings me to my next point about this camera is the fact that it has autofocus. The Nikon V3200 does not have in-body autofocus. This Sony A7C has autofocus, so no matter how close or how far I get from it, it's gonna track my face, track my body, and make sure that everything that is supposed to be in focus is gonna be in focus. Another problem that I run into with the Nikon is that it doesn't have image stabilization. The Sony a7C has image stabilization built into the body. Now, the camera lens that I did get with it is the standard kit lens that comes with it if you buy it from Best Buy or B&H or any other photography and videography place that you would purchase a camera from. It's a 28 to 60 millimeter kit lens, which I'm not sure that I'm going to be necessarily super fond of because that's going to be like super cropped in and I don't think it's going to do well with vlogging. So I actually did order another kit lens. It's like a 16 to 50 millimeter, which is basically the same as the 18 to 55 that I have been shooting on. Now, obviously, as I continue to grow and develop in my skills, I'm going to want to invest in better camera lenses. A basic kit lens will do okay and I think it will help me to really learn how to get creative in getting certain shots, but I am going to want to invest in some different lenses, but obviously I am super pumped about this. Let's go ahead and take that lens out of the package and put it on. So this is the 28 to 60 millimeter lens and one thing that I do like about it is the fact that it's super small and compact, so it doesn't take anything to put this in a bag or even put it in my pocket. And then as far as being on the camera, obviously again, it's super compact. It's not gonna be one of these big bulky lenses that weigh a ton. If I'm vlogging, like, I can hold this all day and it really doesn't make that much of an impact. And if I was using a Gorillapod, that would give me like a little more distance with it being a 28 to 60, so everything won't be as cropped in. Obviously, I don't have a Gorillapod right now. It's probably going to be something that I'll get soon, regardless if I keep this lens or not. If I decide I don't like this lens, again, I've got the other lens coming in. And with it being basically the same as what I typically shoot on, I already know what to expect, what it's going to look like. So if anything, I could just stick with the 16 to 50 and then sell this lens and at least get my money back on what this lens is worth and then I could just use that money to invest in another lens that I actually want to use probably get a nifty 50 for this camera as well knowing that a nifty 50 is very nifty and comes in handy a lot so it might be worth considering just selling this lens and then buying a 50 millimeter lens that way I just always have that available to be able to shoot it makes for great portrait shots great for shooting products or anything where you really want to get that detail and have the nice bokeh effect so yeah that might honestly be what I end up doing. So this in this package is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Backpack. A problem that I've run into a lot is trying to stuff camera gear into bags and having bags 
and side of bags. And with me traveling and always on the go, it can be very frustrating. And so for a long time, I have wanted like a legitimate camera bag. And obviously there's so many different camera bags out there to choose from. But when Peter McKinnon, who is one of my favorite YouTubers, teamed up with Nomadic to make this backpack, I knew I needed it. For one, Peter McKinnon is all about solving problems, doing things that are innovative, and I really appreciate that because it's the little things, the attention to detail that really can make a huge difference. And there was just so much thought from another creative and filmmaker that went into making this bag that just made so much sense. And I was like, I want that bag. I've got to get that bag. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy and we'll discuss a little bit about it. Also a little side note, I love that on the box, Peter put his signature Pete's Pirate Life logo on there. Again, it's the little things, but I really think it was a nice touch. Oh, careful, don't push yourself, buddy. I tried to look cute throwing that, but I felt just took out my lamp. <laughs> oh, it's so sleek. I love it already and I haven't even opened it. It's so sleek. The difference with this backpack compared to the Kodo Paxi that I've been using for the past three years is it's designed for photographers and filmmakers. It's a camera bag first, but it also allows for being able to carry different items like your passport and clothes and other things that you might need, which is gonna be super, super helpful because again, that was a problem that I always ran into with Kodo Paxi is it was great for packing down clothes, but it was always stressful trying to fit my camera gear in because it wasn't made for that really. Yes, I made it work, but it didn't really work. <laughs> so let's dive into this thing. The front opens up and you can see this is where you would keep your different things like passport, books, diary, different articles of clothing. Everything that you need for normal travel would go right here in the very front. On the sides you have magnetic fold outs for carrying water bottles, tripods, anything that you want to put on the sides. On the other side, if you unzip here, what this allows is for side access to be able to get your camera gear, different things like that, and not have to open the whole pack. If we open this back section, oh my gosh, this is so nice. So it opens up into this really nice compartmentalized divider system to where you can put all your camera gear anything that I would need to pack down as far as camera gear. No problem being able to fit it into here. And on this side, anything as far as charging cords, hard drives, filters, anything that I need to put in this section, no problem again. There is so much space to be utilized in this backpack that makes my life so much less stressful whenever it comes to figuring out what gear to take, what gear to leave behind. I don't think there's ever been a trip that I've been on where I've actually been able to take all of the camera gear that I have. No matter what it is that I need to take, I should have no problem being able to fit any of it into this backpack. I'm excited to use this thing. So basically this is all the different little side accessories that come with the backpack. I'm not sure why they got sent on separate days. With COVID, nothing makes sense, so. This is a nice little battery case to be able to put all my camera batteries. And all these accessories that I'm gonna show you just make it so much easier to know where everything is, everything has a place, and that's something, again, that's attention to detail, solves problems. And I feel like it just really speaks to me because sometimes I can be a bit OCD and I know that that's how I am at times, that everything has a place, everything serves a purpose that I own. Even if things look like a mess, it's a very organized mess to me. Then we've got a memory card case, an ND filter case. I don't currently own any ND filters, but again, as I grow and get better, I'm more than likely gonna need to use ND filters. I know this is not the best setup for trying to film opening packages, but again, I'm rocking the Nifty 50, it's what I got, but I'll have the new camera going and hopefully that'll make things a little smoother 
So bear with me. This is a compact little folded up day pack. It unfolds into a full size day pack. This is great because if I'm not wanting to take my whole big pack and maybe I'm just doing like a day excursion and I'll only need like a few pieces of gear, I can always just take this out and pack down what I need into this. And I like that the bottom of this is padded. So again, if I'm needing to put any expensive gear, any cameras or anything into this pack, the bottom is padded. So that will add an extra layer of protection. Honestly, I'm not really a big spender. I'm the type of person that everything that I buy or have usually serves a purpose and if it doesn't serve a purpose then I'm probably not going to keep it. I'm not one that just has to have the latest and greatest of anything that comes out but what I look for and what I am willing to invest in is products that I know I'll use, things that I know personally are going to benefit me and make things less stressful for me that solve problems. That's why I am willing to spend a little bit of money on getting a new backpack and getting a new camera because I know that it's gonna help me in the long run. Like even right now, there's a level of anxiety of having to shoot on this camera that I'm shooting on right now and there were a lot of moments that were stressful for me that I'm hoping that the Sony a7C will cut back on. But anyways, I'm ready to be done with shooting this sequence because I already have like some anxiety about shooting this and not even knowing if any of this is any good. I honestly don't even know if any of this is able to be edited. But anyways, I enjoyed opening these packages for you guys and sharing some of my thoughts. See you soon.